Uniqlo just released their U Spring Summer 24 collection. Is it any good? Did the quality go down? Let's find out. Okay, so let me actually get into position and give you guys a quick spoiler. This collection is quite decent. After all, this brand does focus on the basics, but I'm not gonna lie, man. Some of these pieces left a lot to be desired. But let's start off with the phenomenal stuff. This right here is the Volume Sleeve Cocoon Blousen. Now, it's called the Blousen because the hem area has the bloused finish or that wide fit with a bit of a cinch. And this has gotta be one of my favorite pieces of this collection. I got mine in black. I went with a size medium. And you might be wondering what this hardware right here is for. What's cool about this garment is you can wear it in two different ways. There's buttons underneath the collar right here that allow you to snap it for a high neck stand collar look one of my favorite looks it leans more on that tech wear performance side or you can wear it normally with a standard minimal collar look versatility more options to wear it more bang for the buck who doesn't love that and another cool aspect about this piece is it's just a, the chill vibe it's got that cocoon wide fits very loose you just come off very friendly and also very fashionable so yeah it has that cropped cut look for the short kings this is going to look great on you and for 89 dollars this is solid this will get a lot of compliments it has a cool cuts good quality ykk zippers which just allows this to be zipped with one hand you got metal hardware and it's such a versatile piece you can definitely style this in many ways especially if you roll with the black one i would definitely try and cop this before it sells out because now we got to talk about the disappointing pieces <sighs> all right these pieces right here so <laughs> it's rotating these right here are the cardigans. These are the pieces that left a lot to be desired. I really wanted to like these and I actually do like the way they look. I don't like the way that it feels. And for the price of each of these cardigans, I just feel like there's just better options out there. The only way I can describe the fabric that they use is it's just very stiff and crispy. And that's the only way I can explain it. It kind of says it on their website as well. It just doesn't feel like a cardigan in my opinion, but I do understand that this is for spring and summer. It is a lot lighter. It is a lot more breathable, but I don't know, man. And just the price for these pieces, I feel most people can just get better value. So when I think of cardigans, I am thinking cozy, comfy. And like I said, these pieces do look good. You've got that V-neck style, a nice texture. But the fabric, man, I'm telling you, listen to the fabric as I rub it. That just sounds like sandpaper. And I also feel like if you stretch the cuff right here, it's definitely not gonna bounce back into shape. It just doesn't feel premium. And that's really my only problem with the pieces, the fabric that they use. It looks great, it is breathable, and it is one of my favorite pieces I've styled for this video. But after all, it is just a cardigan. You can get these at other places, while the first jacket I showed is definitely a little bit more unique. So keep that in mind with your purchasing option. I do like this piece and the way it looks. I'm gonna keep them, but I just think there's better value for you guys. Let me take these off and we are going to insert our next piece, which is that right there, the knitted t-shirt. So <laughs> as you can see, this is made of the same fabric and material as the cardigan. And if you look at the sleeve right here, it's just, it doesn't look premium. This has a similar shape to the Uniqlo U oversized tee, the Airism one. I think you should just go for those. It does cost more than the oversized Airism tee. The oversized Airism tee is better for spring and summer anyways because of the Airism technology. This is a little bit you know, not as breathable. Like just look at the sleeve. When I push it, it like holds its shape, which I don't know, man. For a shirt, I want it to flow and drape on me. I don't want it to look like a, a crusty piece of cardboard, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be honest with you guys on this piece. Don't get it, get the Airism oversized tee in black. Come on, Uniqlo, what's up with this? You guys know I love you. Can't be disappointing me. So now we're back in business with the parachute cargo shorts. As you can already tell, this is a dope piece. You've got a thick nylon with a very elastic waist, so this is easy to throw on, very comfortable to wear. I love the large pocket design, although there isn't officially a front pocket, which kind of sucks. So you're going to have to be sticking to the cargo pockets. There is two pockets though. There's the pocket with the buttons and then this pocket behind it for quick access to things. So just keep that in mind. These are a very loose pair of shorts. They go right above the knee, very functional, lots of pockets 
pockets. You got YKK zippers as well, which is durable, very smooth zip. And these do come with belt loops as well, which I'd rather have them and not rely on them than just to rely on drawstrings. Drawstrings has just never been my vibe. It's always uncomfortable and it comes loose sometimes. Although there is drawstrings on the inside of these shorts, so you can tighten up even further with a sleek look. And yeah, this is a very versatile piece. You can style this with a more street look. It can even go hiker core vibes or just casual cozy wear. So yeah, these shorts are definitely a go. And you can also pair these shorts with the next piece, which I gotta grab real quick. And that would be this utility jacket right here. This is also another banger piece. You got the same plastic hardware, which is actually quite nice. Got a very satisfying click, large pockets, plenty of storage. And one of the more important features of a jacket for spring and summer is ventilation. So underneath the armpit areas, there are holes. So it allows for more airflow. Although I probably wouldn't wear this in the summertime, but for early spring, late spring, this is definitely a go. The hem is also adjustable if you want that more blouse look and it's very easy to pack for vacations or inclement weather and that's a pro tip fellas keep a packable jacket in your car or in your bag for your girl she'll appreciate it my girl gets cold all the time for no reason even when it's summertime so little hack for y'all now up next is the same piece for fall and winter just in a ton of different other colorways perfect for the springtime mine is actually in the washer right now and that would be the wide fit parachute pants i got mine from the last collection which i've talked about in the previous uniqlo video that i did and so i'll make this one quick i did have a problem with those pants for fall and winter and that was it was too breathable but because it's spring and summer now that is actually a benefit and you're gonna stay a lot cooler during this season so it's definitely a cop if you're in the market for some wider fit cargos i wouldn't say they are parachute fitting definitely wider fits but not a parachute or balloon fitting pair of pants the cuff is also adjustable so you can wear it in multiple ways we love versatility and the pleated details are a nice touch although the pants are a tad bit too long so your shirt may hide that unless you're wearing a cropped piece which this collection has plenty of cropped pieces so up next we have the zip up blousen. This is very similar to the first piece, just a little bit different, it's different fabric, different design as well. Overall, quite a nice piece, although I do have one minor problem with it, but I want you to think of this like a minimal jacket inspired by workwear. So it uses a heavy cotton fabric, very reminiscent to workwear jackets. This is of course the navy color. I love Uniqlo's navy. And the only problem I have with it is this comes with a washed look. Normally that's actually a good thing, but there is an inside pocket on this jacket and because because it's pre-washed for you instead of you getting that naturally you do have an outline of a pocket and i actually thought it was a pocket so i went like this <laughs> i dropped whatever i was putting in there but yeah overall it's a really nice piece i love the scrunched sleeves the scrunched hem area you got the minimal pocket design the same color zipper and the large collar it's a clean minimal piece with a washed garment dyed look here you see me styling with some cargos and actually a button up and a beanie, a very casual street inspired fit and very durable as well. And then we also have the dry X tank top. Honestly, I would just treat this as a tank top that you could wear at the gym, more of a sleeveless tee than a traditional tank top. So yeah, everything about it screams athleisure. You got plenty of ventilation. It's got shape retention, prevents odor from growing. So that just means more wears, less washes, which is always a good thing. Definitely a great piece for the summertime, more of an athleisure type of look. I'm gonna wear this to the gym and probably only the gym. And finally, we've got the Uniqlo drawstring shoulder bag, which I've had for a few years already. So they have the same exact shoulder bag. They haven't changed it or anything like that. They just have a bunch of different colors. And I'm a little bit disappointed in that as well. So last video, I believe I complained that they should bring back the Block Tech shoulder bag, which they completely should. It was water resistant, has a cooler shape to it, has a zipper. This relies on the drawstring to keep your things from falling out of it, which I don't particularly like, but it does look really good. And they have a small version and a large version as well. Petition, petition, petition for the Uniqlo Block Tech shoulder bag. Bring that back, please. Now they do have a new bag, which is a backpack that also doubles down as kind of a tote bag. There's handles on it. That's kind of cool as well, but the drawstring shoulder bag, I can definitely recommend. So that was Uniqlo U Spring Summer 2024. Bit of a mixed bag, an actual mixed bag. Lots of phenomenal pieces and lots of disappointing pieces. So yeah, for this collection, I was stick to the really good pieces because there are some really good pieces and hopefully the next one is a lot more better and consistent overall let me know what your favorite piece of this collection was mine was definitely that cocoon blouse and jacket i'm gonna leave links to all these pieces down in the description below if you guys do make a purchase using those links i do get a small kickback which goes directly back to supporting the channel until then stay fly deuces